Mr. Upward, I do apologize for making you wait for so long. Please, have a seat. I'm Mr. Lutuli, and I'm the CEO here at Legacy. Are you feeling a little deserted having to wait here for so long? Allow me to introduce you to Mrs. Grace Molefe. Her son, James Molefe, is a second engineer on the Rosinte. But you know that, don't you? No, we don't. Do you have a family, Mr. Upward? A wife, a son, perhaps? My grandchildren love their father. So does his wife. So do I. To us, he's not just an employee number what what or a name in the file. To us, he's a son, a husband, and a father. The money he earns keeping your ship moving and paying for your fancy suits, it keeps his family alive. If you negotiate, you might pay some money, even millions, but you'll still be alive. But if you don't negotiate, that decision could kill my son. He'll be gone forever. His children will lose their homes. They won't be able to pay for their school fees. All medical aid will be destitute. That's what you're expecting my family to pay, Mr. Upwards. What are you willing to pay for the choice you're making? And when we introduce Grace here to the press, they'll love her, don't you think? My company doesn't take kindly to threats. But you do play games with people's lives. If anything happens to any one of those men on that ship, your policy of no negotiating will make headline news. How do you think that'll do for your future business? And that's before we speak to our business contacts and associates. You carry a lot of cargo for the oil industry, don't you, Mr. Upwood? Well, a Miami Oil is a strong name in the oil industry. Mr. Upwood, why don't you tell Grace here what you intend to do with her son and all the other men on that ship? I'll speak to the partners. We'll negotiate. Great idea. You're a good man. <laughs> Coffee? 